hello guys. What colors did I use? Blue and green. How are you guys doing? Hi, how are you guys? I'm gonna pop out my chat here real quick. Crocheting bees, that sounds fun. Sorry, it's taking me forever to pop this out. Hey, Stephanie, happy Thursday. Hi, Steven, yes, I saw. Hi, Rose. Your phone is at 9%, oh gosh. April 27th. Mine is April 28th, so best of luck. Hi, Haley. Let's see. I'm trying to see where I can put this. Because today we are micro crocheting. It's so exciting. Maybe I'll put it on my lap. But yeah, I did this little um, moth the other day. It's not the best looking, but, and I'm thinking, I, well, I am going to be using a smaller hook size. I'm going to use a two. And right now I am recording my Saturday video, which is this. And I dropped my... Let me use a bigger one. Nice and fluffy. But yeah, I think that's what I'm going to make. Oh, thank you. It's just a plain t-shirt. Yes, micro crocheting. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. Did a turtle with an F. What size is an F hook? Hello, Heidi. Okay. We'll, we'll look at that later. Oh, okay, okay. So we're going to start off with the wings. Hold on, guys. Since you guys are facing down, I normally wear shorts, but I need a blanket here. Just to be free, not trying to flash anyone. Okay, that feels a lot better. And I have to eat, so <laughs> I'm going to eat this piece of cheese real quick. 
four millimeter hook. Okay, okay. Hi, Nicole. Thank you, I appreciate it. An e hook. Hi, Morticia, how are you? My chair is comfy, but I'm actually going to get a new one because this chair sits too low for this desk. So I literally can't do any work on it because this chair is too low. So I bought a new chair. It's one of those crisscross chairs. Have you guys seen them on um, TikTok? I didn't buy it off of TikTok, but it is one of those crisscross chairs. <laughs> literally this and like either pecans or almonds like raw almonds are my favorite to eat as snacks and the dots pretzels like a quick snack yep thank you grace seriously a giant bean bag sounds nice too Mm. They don't have numbers on them. Yeah, but when you're trying to do work and your chair is too low, literally your arms are like this. <laughs> so it didn't work out for me. I tried it for a week. Can't do it. So I bought another chair. And then this chair, I mean, this chair is going to go into my mom's room. So... She's going to get good use out of it. She's already excited. I already told her. And she was like, I love that chair. And I'm like, well, it's yours now. Thank you. Thank you. I just reorganized my yarn wall, too. Um, it was in my latest vlog. So I don't even think I showed an overview after I finished. Um, uh kind of changing it up and stuff fixing it up yes i'm worried i'm too tall for it oh yeah i'm five one so <laughs> i think ariana's pretty tall though i gotta ask her she got one and she loves it hi jackie thanks for being here squirrel you feel like i'm skipping you i don't, I don't know what that means Okay, Morticia. Yeah, Dots pretzels. pretzels. Ugh, Haley, they're so good. Trombone solo. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck, Annalise. That sounds exciting. No, I haven't gotten new earrings. You're 5'10". Now I feel like I have to text. Hold on. Let me text Ariana and ask her how tall she is because she has the chair, girl, so... I can confirm or deny. Let me see. Um, where are you at? Ari, how tall are you? LOL. I'll we'll see if she texts back. Or if she's in the chat. Sometimes she's in she's sometimes she's in here. No, they're not new. I have my two same ones up here and then my three down here. They're the same. Naughty, I have not tried the dot cinnamon sugar pretzels. Oh, never mind. She's not tall. I forget what I said. Where is my... She said she's 5'4". So she is not tall. I thought she was tall. You know who is tall? I'm pretty sure... Okay, enough distractions there. 
I'm terrified I've been missing my practices because they keep getting canceled, so I'm not prepared at all. Annalise, you're gonna do great, girl, especially if you're practicing now, you got it. You got it in the bag. Oh, hi, Jessica, thank you for being here. Happy birthday, cat, or early birthday. Your new go-to snack. I'm going to need to try those then. I don't play Roblox. Chocolate covered pretzels for my volleyball team. That's awesome. Someone suggested to add things to Joanne and leave it in the cart to get a coupon. I didn't get a coupon sadly, but I did just end up going and just buying a bunch of yarn. Oh, I'm sorry, bros. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny though they must work for joann's <laughs> i'm just kidding oh thank you well thank you cammy for being here and enjoy your dinner hershey snack mix no i haven't tried it maybe i should try that that sounds so good ari said there's still a lot of space if she sits all the way back, um, my feet are still in the air, is what she said, Stephanie. So it might be a good chair. I know, I think Addison's a little bit taller, so we'll see what she says when she gets the um, chair. And I'll let you know. I will definitely have to try the Reese's ones. Yeah, of course, Steph. Just make sure you remind me because I, sometimes I forget things. I don't mean to, I just do. So, uh, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to pull, I think it's this one, okay. Oh, they're going to do a little award ceremony during the club meeting. That's amazing, Annalise. I love to hear that. I'm good. How are you doing? Oh, I'm so happy that you love your sewing sticks. Um, for anyone who is wanting sewing sticks, I am going to be posting some on my Etsy tomorrow. Acid reflux. I feel like I always have to say it, but... They're not going to be custom sticks. They're going to be sticks that I've already made. Do you guys want to see a couple of them before I start micro crocheting? Um, it's 817. Jackie, which ones did you want? Girl, I can't even remember. Good thing you reminded me just now. <laughs> Let me know, girl, because this girl forgot. Oh, thank you, Jessica. Yes, I'm so excited to finish that up because it's been like looming over my head for the past two years. Prize me in a rainbowish themed. Okay, I gotta write that down. Or can you message me whenever you have a chance and say that again for me, please? I'm so sorry. Girl, sometimes I remember things and most of the time I forget stuff. Thank you. I definitely will send those to you. Um, I'm good. How are you doing? Yes, Jazz, we're going to micro crochet. Okay. So let me show you. I just want, because a lot of people rewatch my lives, especially those who are looking for, um, sewing sticks. So I just want to show you the ones that I currently have that will be going up on my Etsy tomorrow. I'm like, when are they going up? So we'll start with these first. These are just a couple. I am going to be making more today. DIY crafting, you should. 
So this is the first pair. It's a cute little cow and it has the same type of pink that's on the snout and then pink at the bottom as well. So we have those. Next we have this cute little llama with pink and white and gray. So these are all going to be on my Etsy. There's going to be photos if you guys want them. Um, snatch them up tomorrow. I think I'm going to have them posted up by like 6 p.m. CST. So we have those. And then let's see. We have this cute little, these I made a couple days ago, so I've had these for a little bit. I made this cute little fox. Yeah, Stephanie, this is the ring that Patty made for me. I have this cute little fox with a little bow. I really wanted to incorporate the bows. So, and then this pearl, it looks like a pearl. It's so pretty. So I did that little fox one. She was making the rings. They're so cute. Yeah, I watched her video too. I watch all her videos, but um, it's so cute because, you know, I already have it. <laughs> and then we have two more to show and then I can um, micro crochet here. Then we have this. Oh, and I have to show you the ones that I made for myself that I'm keeping. So we have this little gray elephant with the purple bow and then this pink moment here. I thought those were adorable. They kind of look like little pink pearls. So we have these. And then the last pair that I made for right now anyways is this little llama with this orange bow. And then pink and mint. It was just very pastel. I thought this was adorable. But yeah, these are the ones that are going to be on my shop. I am going to be making more. These are just the ones that I have so far. They're just going to be, I guess, is it called made to order? Like as soon as you, no, no, because they're already made. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, and let me show you the ones that I made for myself that I'm keeping. You guys chose the elephant. So I did make myself this pair right here. They're so cute. No, Koala, you're not late. So this is the one that you guys chose. So I made these right here. I think they're so cute. Keeping those. And then the other pair that I made, of course, I had to do my this one is like my favorite elephant and it matches the little headband that she's wearing and i had to do yellow at the bottom to match the daisy but yeah these are the two that i'm keeping for myself you just take it off that's how you use them taylor the only thing that's glued on is the topper everything else you can pull off but yeah, you use them. Um, if you don't know what sewing sticks are, I'll say it once. Um, with the sewing sticks, if you make like amigurumi, which is crocheted plushies, koala, I'm answering that question right now. Um, if you make crocheted plushies and you have a limb, then you stick it through the limb and the body, and then it makes it easier for you to sew on the limb to the body. But yeah, that's how you use the sewing sticks. It's just kind of like a, um, it's a, knitting needle and you sew and you kind of pierce it through the limb and the body so you're able to sew it on but yeah that is it so let's go ahead and start micro crocheting this moth so if anybody's interested in this moth pattern it is by knotted cat and cat is spelled with a k not a c
I'm excited to make this and see how it turns out. Um, we're probably just going to get through the wings, especially with micro crocheting. I mean, I don't know how far we're going to get with this, but we'll see. Put a bandaid on your finger that holds the yarn. Does it really? I wish I had a bandaid. I'm gonna have to take this off though. It, I don't know why it feels like it bothers me whenever I crochet, but I love wearing it. No, it's not a free pattern. It just came out by Knotted Cat um, not too long ago. It's a moth pattern. I think the name is Halen, Halen the Moth. So um, I am gonna be trying to use, trying is the key word, to use a 2.0 millimeter crochet hook. I just bought this. I have a, if this one doesn't work out, I think I have a 2.25. And then if it's too holy, I have a 1.5. But I'm too scared to use that 1.5 just yet. So we are going to use the two. Yes, just like Jackie said, please do not spam, guys. And let's see. We're going to make the bottom wings first. Bye. Thanks for being here. <laughs> a nurse without a band-aid. What the heck? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh gosh, Jazz. Okay. Expert. <laughs> Not me. A 0.7. No, thank you. We'll see how this one works up. <laughs> I just can't, dude. I cannot. Look, I'm already dropping the hook because it's so it's so slim. Yes, koala, I'm a nurse. Okay. Why am I nervous? <laughs> okay, let's see. Chain. Oh, I'm. Why am I telling y'all the pattern? Okay, okay, okay. It's tiny. That's tiny. I've been crocheting since October 2020. Making earrings with the two and was so and I was so amazed. I would have been amazed too, Annie. Thank you. Um, I'm just nervous because I'm nervous, you know. There's no reason for me to be nervous. I'm just like, oh, this is like tiny. I feel like I have to hold my breath. <laughs> Did y'all peep the the cover on my on my desktop? It's pink. Yes, yeah, like Stephanie said, please don't request a shout out. We're not we're not doing shout outs. That's around the time you started. Oh. That's awesome. I'm making a moth by um knotted cat. Me too. I'm like <laughs> Annie Bree. It's normal crocheting for you. Yeah. Well, that's awesome for you. I've never tried it. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. I appreciate it. I'm making a moth. Oh, thank you. Hi, Cisha. How are you? Okay. 
let's continue here. I already feel like my, um, my hook is getting snagged. Can you guys even see me? Let me move you guys a little. I'm far too blind to do micro. <laughs> You're excited to watch. Oh, well, thanks, Jackie. Let me grab a, a support pillow here. Oh, I'm sorry, Koala. Hopefully your um, arthritis, you know, gets a little bit better. Or the flare-up stops is what I mean. What the heck happened here? Hold on. Sandra. Hi, Anna. Thank you for being here. You can never do micro. Literally me. Even though I'm doing it. I'm making a moth right now. Science homework. Okay. I'm making a moth. Yeah, what is everybody else working on? Thank you, Rose, for the for asking. Hello. Nicole, I'm just diving in. <laughs> we'll see how it works up, how it turns out. Right now, I'm just working on the wing. So it's back and forth. So it's not like a magic ring, thank God. That's the reason why I picked this specific um, pattern because the wings are like crocheted back and forth. And the body, I think it starts with like eight single crochets. So it's not like a four single crochet, like too tight of a squeeze for me to do. I'm like so concentrated, I'm sorry. Hello from Poland, oh wow, hi. Look, we finished the first, the first wing. I don't know. Is this tiny enough? Do I need to go smaller? Let's look at the first. It's just a wee bit smaller. Look at that. I feel like I should go, go smaller. Yeah, I do. I am super focused, Jackie. Okay, Stephanie, I'm going I'm to go smaller. I'm going to go 1.5. Because this doesn't look small enough to me. 
You're taking me with you, Renee? Oh, yay. What are you cooking? Mohammed, I'm not selling and don't spam, please. Have a good night, Koala. Okay, we're going to use the 1.5. I'm very nervous. <sighs> okay. Why am I nervous? It's okay, Melly. Like, this is not... You are okay, girlfriend. You are a-okay. Chicken in your air fryer? That sounds good. You guys see this? It is tiny. It is so tiny. Okay, okay. Yes. Is it, it Sherry? It's my first time micro crocheting. Thanks, Annie. Okay. Got to figure this out here. Okay. It's very tiny. Thank you. I appreciate it. Currently 134 can't sleep, but your content is so therapeutic. Oh, I appreciate that. That's so sweet. Ashley, I'll be 31 this year. You'll be my hype girl. Thank you, Annie. Eating something and watching you. Oh. The first thing that I ever crocheted, I think it was a little um, jellyfish, but my bigger project, like my first ever big project was my little bunny. Okay. Let me focus real quick and then I'll read some comments. It keeps snagging. Well, thank you, Jay. I appreciate it for the, for the tip. Thank you so much. Favorite thing to crochet. It's probably my sleepy baby animal, um, elephant. It, her name is Samba. Nice. Just hanging out with Melly, working on a whip or eating a snack. That's amazing. Nicole. I love that. Seriously. I love that you guys work on stuff and I'm working on stuff. So that's why I'm here. I'm using a 1.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm micro crocheting the, if you read the title, it says it on there. Alexis, any tips? Definitely watch a lot of YouTube videos. That's how I learned. There's a lot of great people who have like beginner tutorials and you need to get the stitches down right first know what a single crochet, a slip mm -hmm. stitch is, a half double crochet, all of that is before you do any kind of patterns, just so you kind of know what um, they're talking about when you do the patterns. Um, the body of the this pattern does start um, with a magic ring, but the wings don't. The wings are left to right. A jumbo hippo, that's awesome. It's a tiny hook, yes. <gasps> Oh, Renee, I'm so happy you loved her. <laughs> Hello. 
No, no, I mean, I didn't um, watch her live stream. Today, it was, um, I went to go, I'm, if my friend is watching, hi, but um, I went to go check up on my friends who, they both recently had babies, so I just went to go hang out with them and their babies. I went from one house to the next, so I've been out all day, and um, I just got back in, like, I want to say, like, 45 minutes ago. Right? I definitely need to um, look at your pattern, girl. I haven't forgotten. I just haven't had a chance, but I'll definitely look at it. I'm good. How are you, Sunset? You're crocheting a penguin? Let me finish making this wing and I'll look up at the comments here shortly. Sorry, I feel like I have to focus. Almost done. You won't see how small this wing is. Hmm. Sad part is I keep snagging my hook. So I don't know if <clears throat> this yarn is too thick for it. Here goes the wing. What do you guys think? Let's see how small it is compared to. Oh, it's tiny compared to this other one. Look at the size difference. Yeah, a whole lot smaller. Finger crocheting? No. I've tried like the hand crocheting thing, but not, not like finger crochet right it's tiny it's so little so I'm gonna make a second one of those let me catch up with the comments first oh that sweet baby love is the best yes sweet baby love I freaking it gave me so much like serotonin you know not to have my own child though <laughs> not enough for me to want a child at this very moment. I'm um, just here to have a grand old time. Oh. Oh, thank you, kitten. I appreciate that. Love the new vlog. Not surprised, though. I love all your videos. <laughs> thank you, Brittany. Do you have any pets? Um, I do have a pet. Well, it's not my pet. It's my brother's pet. But her name is Chloe, and she is... A Shih Tzu mixed with Poodle, and I think she's like 15. She's old. She's an old lady. I call her my little grandma. 
Oh, perfect. I'll look at it tonight, girl. I'll look at your pattern tonight, so. Uh, Abigail, definitely try looking up YouTube tutorials. That definitely helped me a lot. I just kind of absorbed everything before I started actually crocheting anything and then tried to learn um, everything like all the stitches and then I went back and rewatched the videos and took my yarn and my hook and started crocheting then. Yes, just like Brittany said, you will learn, like you, you've got it. Oh, Rose, I'm so happy that tip helped you. You used to put the glue on the eye, never thought to put it into the crochet stitch. Yes, definitely put it into the crochet crochet stitch and let it like spew out onto the yarn next to it. That kind of like, I want to say it kind of like burns the, the yarn. And once you hook the, you put like the safety eye right on top, it like literally merges into one. It like intertwines the, the yarn and the um the glue and the the safety eye that's how i do it Brittany, i am micro crocheting currently working on a crochet hair cap for a doll and hair strands are killing me yes the black yarn is so hard to see your stitches you need some like real good lighting i'm making a moth <laughs> you stay up watching my video steven oh well that's sweet Caroline, yes, for this little guy right here, I am making this exact one, except smaller, and it hopefully it's not as holy as this one. Yes, little Grandma Shipu, she is. Hello, Luz. Yes, please don't ask for any shout outs. Oh, Koala, get yourself some sleep. They're willing to teach anyone to crochet, so that might be an idea. Oh, yeah. I think Joanne's has, like, a free crochet, too. Like, if you go to your local Joanne's, they will teach you. They have, like, different um, days that they do, like, um, arts. Because I know they have, like, a sewing class as well, and I wanted to join because I um, – don't know how to, I mean, I know how to sew, but I don't know, like, the proper way of sewing, I guess you can say. Okay, let's start on the second wing. <laughs> yeah, everyone behave while Jackie's gone, please. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. My favorite color is sage. Like the sage green. Oh, I love it. You're going to watch this live and sleep. Okay. Yes, I do live in Texas. Hello. Okay. I low-key think I made the, the other wing one. Let me see. One, two, three. 
I guess we'll see. I think I missed a, um, a row though. Now that I am thinking back on it, but we'll see. I am making a, um, thanks for being here. Um, stepping back in, uh, Steph. Isn't it so small, Mariah? But, um, I got my yarn from Michael's and it is the Aunt Lydia's yarn. Aunt Lydia's yarn. What did you do differently from the last moth you made? Yeah, I sized down a hook size because look how holy it is. You can see the stuffing through it. So definitely sized it down. Have a good night, Steven. Thanks for being here for a little bit. I'm making a moth. Hello, welcome in. Okay, let's continue. Sorry, I'm concentrating, guys. <laughs> I literally forgot that I was on live real quick. Like, <laughs> it's because I'm trying to get into this stitch. Okay. Last row, and then I will look up at the comments. Okay, we'll see if I missed a row on the first little wing because I feel like I did. Wow, you were kidding me. Wait, this isn't it. Okay. <laughs> I sure did miss a row. Look at that. I knew I missed a row. I knew it. As soon as I made the second wing, I knew I had missed a row in this one. So I'm going to remake. Sorry, guys. I'm going to have to remake uh, another wing. It doesn't take that long, though. And concentrate on crocheting. Uh, small breaks. Have a good night, Cisha. Oh, 
Annie, that does sound exciting. I hope they make it a big uh, Michaels. I'm using a 1.5 millimeter crochet hook, Brittany. Brody, I'm making a moth. I've been doing it since, I've been crocheting since October of 2020. Cheap but good quality. Um, I would definitely wait for the sales, but definitely Joann's and Michael's when they have like their 60% off or like their 50% off. They even have coupons too. Hi, Addie. I am making a moth by Knotted Cat and I'm micro crocheting. Right? I thought there were, I thought the wings didn't take too long. How am I not using a magnifying glass? Girl, same. But you know how your eyes can like go from like one magnitude to the next? My eyes feel like I'm straining that, that part that I'm using. I don't even know. I have no clue. Hello, Jordan. Okay. Let's redo the second wing real quick, real quick. I'm planning on doing one of those videos where I make like a Bernat blanket moth and then I make one of these moths. I don't know. Maybe I'll make like a Premier Perfect Chunky, a Bernat blanket one because these are quick. Like if I were to make this in Premier, it would probably take me like 25 minutes or less than that. This is a really quick pattern. I'm just taking forever because I don't know how to micro, like I've never micro crocheted. So I'm like seriously really concentrating on it. So, but I think it's a quick pattern. I'm making a moth. Make sure you guys like the live if y'all are here and enjoying yourselves. Um, there's only 21 people who have liked the live and I think there's like over 100 of you guys in here. It really helps me a lot. Can you guys even see? <laughs> Have I, does it look like I'm just crocheting air? Like, can you guys even see that string? Like, I know you can see it now, but like when I'm like crocheting it, like, can you even see it? <laughs> uh... Oh, thank you. I don't think I'm doing it too fast. I appreciate that. That's a confidence boost because 
This is my first time micro crocheting. I'm almost done. One more row. There it goes. Now we gotta make sure that they're the same size. Now I gotta remember which one's which. Okay, it's not this one. It has to be this one. Yeah, it is, but oh my gosh, like I feel like the last one that I made is a whole lot, this is the one that I made a while ago and then this is the one that I just made and I feel like it's so much tighter. I guess I'm starting to learn my tension. I mean it kind of semi looks the same but it's not. Like I can see it in person that it's just off by, can you see, by just a little? It's a lot smaller. The one in the back is a little bit bigger. Yeah, better. well they're moth wings. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Hola, Daniela. Micro crocheting is what it's called, Janus. Oh, thank you, Ari. I appreciate that. That means a lot. If you said, I believe you, if you said that there was yarn, but sometimes I can't see it. <laughs> yeah, crazy tiny. Right? Okay. Um, I want to do an update on my my Saturday video. If you guys want to say hi, I'll show the chat. I'll show the chat on my um, video for Saturday. So go ahead and say hi if you want to come out. Um, I don't know how close it's going to be, but I got to move y'all so I can give my um, Saturday's video an update about this um, crocheting. It's kind of awkward though, cause like I'm talking to myself and I mess up a lot. So please don't mind me for like 20 seconds. Here's my camera. I'm about to turn it on. But I will, I will scroll down and show you guys, so. Um, let's see. Hey guys, so I have a quick update for you guys. I did end up making several uh, little wings and 
it's because chat over here messed me up. I'm just kidding. But I ended up making two identical wings, but I feel like one of them is still a little bit smaller. And I think it's because I'm starting to learn like my tension on a 1.5. That's another update because I started off with what size is this? I told you guys I started off with a 2.0 millimeter crochet hook and then I ended up going to a 1.5. So let me show you the 2.0. This is what I made with a 2.0. It's pretty small, but it's not as small as I wanted to go. And Stephanie, which is one of my mods here, she ended up saying, girl, you need to go with a 1.5. So I did that and I made this little guy, but I missed a row and I blame chat for it. I blame them. And then I ended up making two more. And like I said, one's a little bit smaller than the other. Let me see if it'll focus. There you go. One's a little bit smaller than the other because I'm learning my tension and it's coming along pretty good. I wanted to show the chat for you guys because they are saying hi and let me go ahead and spin you guys around so you guys can see yourselves on here. So let me zoom in here, but yeah, there you guys go right there. Oh, Brittany said Melly's doing so good micro crocheting. Y'all are so sweet. Not her blaming us. Yes, I blame y'all. <laughs> Nicole, you're a distraction, ma'am. <laughs> But yeah, here you guys go right here. But yeah, that is it. Let me turn you guys back around. Um, oh, there you go. Y'all, that, that little piece is gonna be cut out because y'all are too close to my face. But um, that is the update for now. I'm gonna go back to just talking to you guys on live and thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll be back for, an, for another update later, okay? And that is the update for Saturday's video, guys. And you guys came out on there, so. <laughs> okay, let me move you guys back to how y'all were because I need to fit my iPad over here. And did you guys say what you guys were working on? I feel like y'all did, but I only read maybe one person saying that they were working on something. So we're done with this color because we already did two of what we're working on. Let me show you. We did the lower wings. So we ended up working on these green ones. Now we need to work on these big ones. Yeah, um, what type of yarn? It is Aunt Lydia's. She has two different ones. She has a zero and a one, and I'm doing, I ended up getting the one. Zero to me was too scary, and the one I bought on Amazon is actually a zero, which is this one, which I'm too scared to use. So I probably won't use that anytime soon. You're making a baby blanket. Caroline is making cactuses. Um, AJ, the type of camera I use a, you know, I don't even remember. Um, it's a Sony E something. <laughs> I just recent, like I bought it a couple months ago. That's why I can't remember. I used to use the Canon G7X Mark II, but you can't change the lenses off of them. And I love the Sony one. The Sony one's very compact, but you can change the lenses and you can add a, a, an external mic. So that's why I ended up just buying it. It is on my Amazon storefront um, if you want to check it out. I did put it on my Amazon storefront. And I did get my new P.O. box, guys. I thought there was going to be an issue with my new P.O. box because we went to go get the keys. And um, they couldn't open the P.O. box. But it turns out it, it was just a um, false alarm. But it turns out that they never switched the lock on it. 
So whenever the the old like the person before me had it, so he had to switch it out. So hopefully he switched it out. He said he was gonna switch it out um, after they closed. So I hope he did that because I don't want to be like, I can't open my PO box. <laughs> Making bunnies in overalls, I love that, Nicole. What um, pattern are you using? A blueberry turtle, cute. Working on some of the rear view mirror swings with animals on them. Only did a bunny so far, but want to try others. Yeah, they have, I've seen like, a, I've done the ghost one. I don't know where it's at, but I have a little ghost uh, one. And I've seen other little critters too. You're supposed to be working on a research paper, Brittany. Why aren't you working on a research paper, girl? <laughs> Am I distracting you? Just like y'all were distracting me. <laughs> Working on your cardigan, awesome. We're making moth, like a micro, we're micro crocheting a moth. Yes, the address is on there for my PO box. Oh, and that's going to make me so happy. Letters and stickers, seriously. Um, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. Loretta Loops, I already made one. Oh my God, I love this pattern. Maybe I need to try that. I don't even think I've crocheted a bunny that I think of about it. I really don't think I have. Yes, please, guys, no spamming. Thank you. I appreciate it, Maddie. Okay. Let's go ahead and start on the top wings real quick. Real quick. I say like I'm it's just going to happen like this. It's not. It's not. I wish this matches like my shirt. This is like my favorite color, so Oh, the overalls are removable. Awesome. Thank you for subscribing, Priscilla. And a, a filet crochet bit. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm making a moth. Um, you know, I don't know because it's micro crocheting. Now the thread is invisible. <laughs> well, thank you for subscribing, Haley. <laughs> okay, let's start. I'm not going to stare at the chat for a minute. My hair feels all tangled, guys. Ugh. Um, let's see. Do you guys watch EXO Jazz on TikTok? Does anybody know who that is? I talked about her in one of my other um, lives. In case you're like, that sounds familiar. <laughs> yes and no, no. Oh, thank you, Art Life. Yes, make sure you like the live, guys. Mystery eggs and want to include at my market. There's some cute little, like, um, small little plushies. I can't remember who it's who they're from. 
that is not helpful at all, is it? <laughs> Burnett color. It's probably like the multicolored ones. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. For markets, I haven't really done a market. I'm doing one April 28th, so I promise you I will give you guys an update on what, you know, what people were touching and holding and wanting more or buying more. I'll let you know. Yeah, little chicks and bunny patterned eggs. Maybe like a bunny ear hoods. Yes, Brittany, the one that texts the boyfriends. Yes, oh my gosh. The literally, literally, like. I need to catch one of her lives again. But yeah, she um, texts the boyfriends and like basically catches them cheating. She doesn't, like, start the conversation. Well, she calls and says it's an accident because she's looking for somebody specific. And then they answer. They can say they're not the person, and she's done with it. And she just tells them, hey, I accidentally sent you a photo of me. So just delete it um, and have a good night. And then half the time, those guys will, like, end up texting her back and be like oh that's what you look like we should get together and i'm like wow like really really and a lot of them do she she'll send them to the dog pound and then they'll call they'll be like i'm here i'm outside the your like where's your house at and she'll be like nowhere it's where you belong the dog pound <laughs> it's so funny Yes, Renee, I love watching her. No, um, it is like normal crocheting. It's just tiny, you know. Hello. Welcome in. This yarn kind of feels stiff, you know what I mean? Like, it would be good for, like, keychains. It's not, like, soft or anything like that. I feel like all you can see are my hands moving. It's like I'm doing a magic trick. Just moving the hook just to move it. Yeah, earrings. Yes. <laughs> Spellcasting finger movements. I'm good. How are you? I 
I got a couple more rows. How do people that micro crochet not feel like they're about to rip their um their crochet hook from the <laughs> from up here because it feels like it's just gonna pull out because i'm pulling so hard Two more rows. One more row. Oh my gosh, this single crochet feels so tight. I finished my first big wing. What do you guys think? So let me show you the other sized wings. So it's gonna go like this. So cute. Very exciting. Okay, let me read, let me catch up with the comments. Yeah, it's a 1.5 millimeter crochet hook. Thank you, Paulina. I appreciate the um, compliment. I am micro crocheting. Doing a micro samba earrings. Oh my gosh, I could never. <laughs> yeah, so tiny. The Walking Dead cast. Oh, Renee, that'd be awesome. You would totally wear those. I'm making a moth. Yes, just like uh, Mariah said. Um, oh my gosh. Making a blanket with micro crochet granny squares. That's crazy. Well, have a good night, Caroline. Thank you for joining us for a little bit. Yeah, extremely tiny. Yeah, the big wing, right? <laughs> I think it's going to turn out so cute, too. I've never crocheted a blanket, Lacey. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Alexander. Okay. Let's move on to the next wing.
Um, Mariah, kind of not. I think my um, arm is getting more tired though because I'm like pulling at it, but it might be because I need to use a zero weight yarn instead of a one weight yarn with this hook because it keeps snagging. So I definitely understand why you probably need to use a zero weight yarn instead of a one um, if you're going to use a 1.5 millimeter crochet hook. Oh, thank you, Christina. I appreciate that. And I think all the lighting that I have in my room really works out in my benefit because <laughs> I'm able to see every, every stitch, you know? I'm not like really straining my eyes. I feel like this is working out pretty fast. Make sure I have enough. Um right now or do you mean in like in my lifetime you've got it Lacey Um, since October of 2020. Yes, yes, please guys, take your water break, drink something, <laughs> definitely hydrate. Hey, Christy, I was reading your, I know I wasn't replying back in the group chat, but I, I, I did read your uh, messages, girl. <gasps> the yarn is sold out, oh no, what yarn were you using? literally why I'm a yarn hoarder here like <laughs> oh I have so much yarn for no reason just because I'm like what if it goes you know what if it sells out <laughs> happened once in my life that's it <laughs> Yeah. 
You want to hoard your <laughs> Girl. True, 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 true. That helps me sleep at night. <laughs> when I buy more yarn, I'm like, you know. My hands are cramping though. I can feel it. The last stitch is always the one that I have an issue with. Almost done with the second wing. I, Gracie, I can knit. Um, I don't, I can't really remember how to knit, but I used to knit. Um, that's a long story, but yeah, I used to knit Poshgate. <laughs> if you know the crochet kits that are called the Woobles, their yarn got sold out. Oh, wow. How can you see the stitches? I need a magnifying glass. Same here. Just a lot of light on me, I promise you. I can show you guys how much light I got on me here in a second. Mountain bigger than my house of yarn. <laughs> Please, that's my dream too. Has anyone bought the Red Heart Amigurumi kits at Walmart to try out? No, I, ha I haven't. Bye. Bye, Lacey. And I shall live in the yarn and become one with the yarn. Yes. I'm making a moth. That is the dream, Nicole. Yes, I'm making a micro crochet moth. Would you rather all yarn be free for the rest of your life or all crochet patterns be free for the rest of your life? That's an interesting one. You typically, patterns are typically, this is what I'm going to say. Patterns are typically less expensive and they go to a small business who creates those patterns versus a big corporation who makes the yarn. So I'd rather get the yarn for free and pay for my patterns. Yeah, just like Mariah said, hands down yarn. Yeah, knitting is a little bit harder for me too, Gracie. I started in October of 2020. I'm going to be 31 this year, so I don't know, 27, 28 maybe? Uh, 
Um, I don't go to Walmart or Five Below. I could buy so many patterns without spending money on yarn. <laughs> Wait, what? What was I on? Oh, okay, I know where I'm at. I'm gonna blame y'all again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, it's y'all's fault I made a mistake. <laughs> I hope y'all know I'm just playing, right? Like, don't take it too serious. Like, I just like joking around. Done with the second wing. Thank you, I appreciate that. Hand spun yarn. Maybe, maybe. I don't think I ever considered that, but maybe. Let me cross my legs here. Oh yes, everybody go like the live, whoever's here. I'd appreciate it. It really does help me out a lot. Hello, okay. We have the second wing done. Let's see if they match up. Did I mess up? Are they the same size? Is my tension different? Oh, I'm starting to get better. They're the same size. You can't even see them. Look, same size. I love that. So we have those. Perfect. Oh, good night, Renee. Need to eat dinner and watch some Fear of the Walking Dead. Yes, girl. <laughs> Thanks for uh, re-watching my live whenever you do, Renee. Have a good night. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet of you. My favorite colors are sage. I love rain from Premier Yarn. So it's, it's literally like, let me turn you. It's this color, so like a bluish green. Um, I like that, and then I love like, maybe like a lilac. Those are pretty. Um, and then I also can go for like a good cream, or you can also just surprise me. I don't really like pink, but I use pink a lot because a lot of people love pink. It's okay, Gracie. Have a good night. Favorite animal is an elephant. I look at that. An elephant. This is a little heart shaped head elephant. But yeah. Favorite is an elephant. Oh, you're crocheting a cat? That's awesome. Okay, let me show you the. Um, lights that I was referring to that I have so much light on me and then you guys are always like is it day over there no it's not so I have these two lights I have one and then I have two and then these are all like what is it called is it called LED I don't know what the name of them um but yeah y'all saw if y'all were on my live when Patti said A-L-E-X-A -E and it turned off my lights Jesus, she's listening, so I can't say her name. She's gonna, she's gonna turn them off if I say her name. And then I do have this other light on. Let me show you guys. I have this light on that's connected to this little bar. And I was putting y'all on this, but um, 
it didn't work out too well. And then I have another light, uh, same light as the other ones there. And then I have another light, same like the other one, except it's like a pulley system. I don't know, but yeah. And then I have another light in there. You see it right there. It's just to light up my room. And then there you guys go. There's my camera that I record on and my yarn wall again it's let me close this but yeah look look how nice my yarn looks now ignore that little pile up there <laughs> it needs a home but yeah that's what it looks like right now yes nicole you weren't there girl Patty's mean for that. <laughs> she turned my lights off. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm going through the comments. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, she didn't just turn my lights off. She turned other people's lights off. It was so funny. We were all in the dark except her. Like, that was devious and hilarious at the same time. I was like, I cannot with you, girl. Like, she was so funny. Love her. <laughs> we were actually on FaceTime last night. It was me, her, and um, Addison. I'm not going to start on the body because I want you guys to watch my video for Saturday. I don't know if that's a little mean or cruel, um, but you guys are going to have to watch the video to see um, what the moth ends up looking like. I am going to stay on until 10, so we got 19 more minutes to talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. Unless you want me to crochet something else, then I definitely will. Your room is pretty. I love it. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Mariah. You're so sweet. Oh, maybe we can... Jackie, we can make your sticks right now, girl. Are you still on here? Let me know if you're here, Jackie. We'll make your sticks. If not, then we'll make them another day. But I figured if you're here... Oh, yes, Ariana. Girl, you were in the darkness. Oh, you are here, Jackie. Perfect. She said, of course. Okay, let me turn you guys. Y'all are going to be facing the wall of yarn for the meantime because I got to get up and go and look for my, well, not look for them. I know where my beads are. I just got to go grab them. I was going to say, sorry, I don't even know if you can hear me, but I was going to say the, um, the, the wall of shame, but instead I'm saying the, the wall of yarn. Okay, I didn't even tell y'all I got some more stuff in today. Ariana, I'm so mad at you. Are you still here? I'm in Texas. I'm in Texas, Mary. Maybe Ariana's not here anymore. Oh, no! <laughs> ah. You know what you texted me about earlier? They came in. I finally got what I've been waiting for to do a care package for Ariana. It's okay.
But yeah, I got several of them. They're so cute. <sighs> they finally came in. I ended up ordering... Let me show you. I ordered these and I... Girl, I thought they were silicone beads. Wrong. They're just plastic. I'm so mad. Yes, I am going to have some of these up, but minus the orange one. Um, I am going to have some of these up on my Etsy tomorrow for sewing sticks, if you guys know what that is. But I did end up getting all of these beads. I got white, this light pastel blue. Oh, and Jackie, I'm showing you these. Like, let me know if you like any of these. We got pink and we got mint. So we got all these to add. I'm mainly using these as like the, I wanna call them cap, but like for the bottom part. Um, let me go ahead and find a, you said rainbow. I love this one. You like bright, right? I feel like this one suits you so well, Jackie. I think there's there might be one more purple one. So let me look. Let me see what you said. If it's colorful and bright, I love it. It's lovely. <laughs> and hold on. Did you tell me what you wanted for your second topper, Jackie? And honestly, you can have whatever you want. For my mods, I will give you whatever you want. You can have another animal. You can have um, whatever. It doesn't matter. I have a ton of silicone beads, so. You're so dang indecisive. <laughs> Best bead selection ever. Thank you. I appreciate it. I have a ton. I have a ton. I'm excited to make more for Friday, you know, to go live. I have little axos, little pigs, highland cows, little bunnies and dresses. These cows I'm sure you saw. I have other little bunnies like this with like different colored ears. Why does it look like it's not focusing? Sir, can you focus? Yes, so cute. I have these big elephants. I have hippos. No one has bought a hippo yet, but I think they're cute. They look at the little teethies, the little teethers. I have little foxes. Astronauts. Uh, I love the astronauts. I need to make one of these. I'm going to keep this one. We're going to put this one aside because I want it. <laughs> they are very cute. I have goats. I have a ton of elephants because that's like me, you know. No one has bought a little dino. Those are adorable too. Um, we have little owls if you're more of a neutral tone person, you know. No horses. I'm sorry. Oh my God. I do really love the foxes. Do you have a fox that will go with a bright color scheme? Let's see. The white will go with it. Let me look for more. Hold on. That's not our end all, you know. Fox, fox, fox. We have a bright orangish fox um, we have a gray fox so cute yes okay so the white yes yes I still do have a white one he's so cute look at him I think he would look so adorable. And then you want bright. So let's look at the beads now. The, the beads that go in between the toppers. They're right here. 
Look at all that. ASMR, guys. I don't even know if you can hear that. <laughs> Thank you, Mariah, for putting that um, Etsy. And then, Mariah, you're going to have to message me to see um, later what sticks you want, as well as in the group chat, make sure you let us know when your birthday is. Because, like I told my other mods, I will be sending you guys a cute little package for y'all's birthdays. And if it's passed, then I'll just send one to you um, this week or next week. Or next week for sure, not this week. This week's almost over. Ashley, I do have a koala. I will be having some on my Etsy page. I'm going to try to not do any more customs, but um, they will be on my Etsy page. And Mariah did um, put it on there for you. So no turtles. We do have koalas, though. It's a very soothing sound, isn't it? Let's just take a second. No black koalas, just gray. <gasps> Yours was on Saturday. What? Well, happy late birthday. Did, did we know that? Did I know that? I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to send you something, girl. I just love doing this. I'm sorry. They're silicone beads. Okay, because I was about to feel bad. <laughs> I'm like, what? Okay, okay, okay. Well, happy late birthday. Um, and yes, you're going to have to privately message me your, um, if you're okay with it, of course, your address so I can send you some goodies for being my mod. And then, yeah, I appreciate it. Silicone beads. Silicone beads. Okay. Let's stop playing with the beads and actually make something. We got the two sewing sticks here. And she is wanting colorful, kind of going with this rainbow themed, which I love because this looks like, this like reminds, like that bright pink reminds me of Jackie and that purple, especially the purple. Cause I know she loves purple. So let's come up with something. We also have these. So those are all pastel though. Um, oh, but there is white in there. Okay. Can I show you the silicone bead? This is it. Oh, thank you, Ashley. I appreciate it. Thanks, Harper, for following. Yes, Nicole. Aren't they so sweet? I, I love my mods, literally. They're very sweet. Thank you. I appreciate it. Fifty nine likes. Oh, wait, fifty eight. <laughs> I do crochet things. You're right. Maybe I should do the white in between. Uh, 
Oh, we're at 60 now. Who said that we needed art life? <laughs> Art Life said, we need one more to 60 and we got it. <laughs> Thank you guys for liking the live. I appreciate it. It really does help me out a lot. Maybe I should put it right under, I don't know. 62 likes now. <laughs> I think I like the first way that I put these beads in. Do you want me to add something or do you like this or maybe another white? Yes, I do have a couple patterns um, that I designed. Cute, but do you love it? Yes, we're at 65, 66 likes now. <gasps> Pretty pearly ones. Yes. Um, let me look. Do you like the pearly purple or the pearly pink? That is the question. Because we have... I think you'd want purple, huh? Okay, perfect. I'm happy you do. Either is great. I think you want purple. <laughs> it's because your your logo is like, it has purple in it. You know what I mean? That's why I'm like purple. Um, and then I want to put... I wish I had more of like... yellow but like the flattened ones like the white one like this white one that I put but me don't have any I do have this pretty flattened pink one that'll go good with it I think let's see what it looks like and this little guy let me see hold on I always have to look at them together to see if they like coincide, you know, maybe a white in between to help kind of put both of them. The beads are on knitting needles and then Okay. Yeah. That was the only question you had. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. The beads are on knitting ne needles. So they would look like this together. What do we think? You love it? Yay. I'm so happy you do. I think they came out so cute. I freaking love these two, like the two toppers, aren't they? What color do you want at the bottom? I can look for like a bright pink or I can see if I have purple. I don't know if I have purple. 
Let me see what I have before I'm like, yeah, let's do purple and I don't have purple. You know, I've done that. Unless you want the big balls, um, unless you don't mind like the big balls, I can do the big balls for purple. Like teal that match the rainbow color. Let's see. I think I do. I found one. I just have to find the second one and I'll show you. You guys get a little ASMR real quick here while I'm trying to find this other. That's not it. I love just rolling through these. It just feels so good. It's like cooling. I found it. Yes. Okay. What do you think? Right? Aren't they cute? I think they're adorable. Sorry, I'm reading the comments. That's why I'm like so concentrated. Yay, awesome. I will glue these. And um, if you can just send me a separate message, Jackie, um, with your address on them so I can send them to you, girly. It's just a thank you for being my mod. So I think I sent Stephanie and Christy extra um, sewing sticks in their order, in their first order. So, um, and then... I will just need Mariah. Yes, they are. And Mariah, do you already have um, my Samba and my Benji? Because if not, I, I think you already have my Samba. I don't know if you have my Benji. If you don't, I will send that one to you because um, my mods do get my um, patterns and um, like little things like that from me just as a thank you so let me know mariah if not i will send me your email and i will um send you mr benji over to you oh you tested benji oh my gosh you see how what i mean i'm like a goldfish i'm like a goldfish i'm sorry i i think it's because <laughs> i answer so many emails and so many i don't know it it's just an everyday thing but yeah you <laughs> you too jackie that's why i'm like i'm so sorry i forgot about your your um your sewing sticks like i don't mean to i promise you it's not like i'm like maliciously forgetting things i just for the life of me cannot remember no i don't have the cat toppers not yet um they were supposed to today's thursday right yeah they were supposed to come in today and they didn't hmm Nope. So it may be tomorrow and your face will start to remember. <laughs> that, that may be another reason too, but I mean, I need to do better. Do better, Melly. <laughs> uh, but no, um, Naughty, I haven't gotten the um, cats yet and I won't make them. If I get them this weekend, I won't make them until Tuesday or Thursday because I work all weekend. So um, but no, I would have shown those off to you guys so fast, but 
because I ordered cats and dogs, but I only got my little butterflies and then my smaller ones, which I'm excited I got these because I needed those for sure. Um, I can never place a face with names. That is hard. It is. People come up to me and they're like, hey, how are you? And I'm like, hi, how are you doing? And I'm surprised people don't say, you don't remember me, do you? Because <laughs> I would be like, not at all. Not in a mean way. I just don't remember people. <laughs> do you have any boxer dogs? No, I don't. I've known people for three years and still never remember their names. Girl, same. I try to. I promise you, I like try to. But sometimes it's hard. So we'll finish at 10.10, so five minutes from now. We're not saying any names like that, sir or ma'am. <laughs> I'm excited to show you what the moth looks like in the end. I'm not done with it, but um, don't leave us. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. I'm going to literally finish. Like, I'm going to continue crocheting, you know? You know what I noticed about my vlogs? I need to start crocheting more in them. I just show y'all what I buy. I'm like, I need to stop buying stuff and I need to crochet more. So next week's vlog, I don't know if y'all read my description. Next week's vlog for sure is going to be like crocheting a ton of stuff. I'm literally going to be crocheting a ton of stuff. <laughs> Hop on fort, Fortnite. <laughs> No, I've been on here since 8 o'clock. It's only been two hours. I, I'm actually not tired. I am drinking a cherry limeade poppy. I'm trying to get away from soda. I haven't drank soda in maybe like two months. Um, I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier. Uh, so I'm drinking nothing but water and then... Of course, your limit for poppy is supposed to be like two a day. I only drink one a day and I drink water. So I did drink a sweet tea today. <laughs> oh, yay. Yes, for sure. No, I heard the Dr. Pepper one, like the whatever, the Doc Pop was nasty. So I haven't tried that one. My favorite one out of the poppies is the grape one. That is literally life. And I only bought one of them. So I definitely need to um, buy more of the purple, the grape. So good. Olipop. Which flavor do you like, Stephanie? Because the Olipop that I've tried, I hated. I thought it was so nasty. And then given this one isn't that much better like i'm really just forcing myself to drink it like this is the this one the grape one is a lot more tolerable like the grape one tasted like soda and i was like heck yes these kind of taste like diet soda um and i know they're prebiotics and probiotics so i just kind of sip on it you know what i mean like i cannot tell you i've never finished one of these <laughs> usually i get to like right here and then i throw it away but I'm trying because I don't need to drink soda, you know? Yes, it's kind of good when you first taste it and then it's gross. Yeah, this one's a little bit more tolerable. <laughs> grape is my favorite too. Yes, grape is seriously superior. It's so good. Two more minutes. Um, diet soda belongs down the drain. The only diet soda I like to drink is diet Dr. Pepper. Diet Dr. Pepper is actually really good. I don't like any of the other ones. I had a poppy when I was in California visiting a friend last year and I liked it, but to be honest, no idea what flavor it was. No, Jackie, you need to tell us what flavor it was. I need to know. I need to know these things. Do you remember what color it was? will always be disappointing. Exactly, Mariah. I feel you, girl. Everybody was all like, oh, we thought it was going to taste like Dr. Pepper and it didn't taste anything like it. I agree. 
grape anything is just so amazing i switched to flavor spark is that good i don't know if i would like sparkling water i have my dot pretzels right here they're like almost gone i'm about to eat some of these um lemon iced tea is good don't do that to yourself i have to girl i have to put i cannot drink soda i was drinking soda too much and so i stopped myself and now i'm trying to i'm like when i say i'm trying to eat a little bit better i'm not saying i'm sitting here cooking fish every single day now i have i will say i ate tuna yesterday the day before i did eat grilled fish so i have been like trying to eat a little bit healthier but i i mean i still eat i can still smash on a burger like don't get me started on that mm, some are way better oh um, i'm sorry to hear that shattered Do it look like I ask? Well, Julie, you might need to um, structure your sentence a little bit better, girly. Stop, literally. That's me. That's why I'm like, I see so many people on dialysis. I don't want to, I don't want to be a dialysis patient, you know, they have a hard life. I see their struggles in the hospital and they do go through it. Polar brand. Where do they sell it? Like Target, Walmart. It is hard to start. I think the thing is, is to continue going, you know? Sparkling ice made Starburst flavored sparkling waters. Now I can't find it anywhere. Dang it. My healthy food, Chick-fil-A salads are out of this world. And you haven't tried one. I never knew salad could be this good. <laughs> Is it, um, is it the fried chicken or is it the, um, baked chicken? What do you put on it? I need to know. Nicole, I might have that tomorrow. <laughs> so you got to tell me, girl. I don't like any, um, dressings on it though. Like any sauce, nothing, none of that. Polar pop. Mandarin flavor and it's at Walmart. Polar pop. I might have to try that. Sparkling water. If you've never tried bubbly, you need to try it. I should. Last time I had sparkling water, it was gross. Like it had too much fizz. Oh, hot Cheetos and Takis. I love hot Cheetos. I love hot fries more. You put the fried chicken. Look, I'm over here talking to y'all. It's past 10 10. <laughs> Is it your ice? Mm -mm. Where do you get it, Art? I'm eating Dots pretzels. They're so good. Zevia, and it was okay. Maybe I need to try the Izzy or Ice. Green tea flavor was amazing, but they discontinue the flavor. Hmm. 2 p.m. in Australia. It's 10, 14 p.m. Central Time.
They're really good. I'm hungry too. I'm probably going to go make myself some tuna. <laughs> Have y'all seen that meme? Ariana, what are you doing here? You gonna share? Yeah, you want some? They, there's not that many left. They're all just like little crumbs. Mmm. Yeah, the aftertaste. Favorite chips? Mmm. I like anything baked. Like the baked hot Cheetos, those are so good. Girl, seasoned. Seasoned. Mm hmm Leftover salad or ice cream, but the crunchy pretzels sound really good to me right now. So many chips, I don't know. <laughs> You're used to the aftertaste. Yeah, sun chips are really good. I tried to get into veggie chips, and I didn't really like them. Cheese it puffed. Can't have those in my house. <laughs> They're gone so fast. Mm -hmm. The regular sun chips are my favorite out of all of them. Yeah, I even tried the spicy, like the spicy veggie chips. Mm. <laughs> I don't mean to make you hungry. I'm hungry. Yeah. Gardens. I don't think I've ever. Are they the ones in the green bag? What bag are they in, Jackie? Mm hmm. Harper, they are. Well, thank you, Jaden. I appreciate that. Coral colored. I don't think I've had those. I don't think they're at my target. Mmm, like the mango. I may need to look for them next time I, I'm in Target. Or I can put a Target order in tonight and see if they have them. Ice Coke water with cucumber or and lime or lemon. Minus the Coke, it sounds good. Thank you, I appreciate it. Salt and vinegar chips. Yes, pistachios are so good. I love any types. I hate saying that, but I love any types of nuts like almonds, pistachios, pecans. I, they're so good. We'll stay on for two more minutes. You don't love pistachios on their own? I love sunflower seeds, especially on my salad. Mm. I already crocheted. We got two more minutes. My boyfriend hates nuts. Yeah, they're good and everything. What? Chocolate covered sunflower seeds. Where did you buy those from? I've never had that. Alfredo, is that the only word you know? I do. I won't be on tomorrow. I will be editing my video for Saturday. 
But if I finish early, if you guys want, I can do a live. It just depends. Yeah. Like Christy said. Thank you guys. Let me stop. <laughs> okay. Well, I appreciate you guys being on this live. Um, like I said, I go live on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. CST. My videos are now Thursdays and Saturdays, 12 p.m. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you like the live. And if you watch any of my videos, make sure you like the video. You leave comments down below and you watch the actual video because that really helps me out a lot on YouTube. So I appreciate you guys and I will catch you guys in Saturday's video. I may do a live tomorrow depending on if I finish editing Saturday's video. Thank you so much mods for being here um, and it being like a good and safe environment for everyone. I appreciate y'all and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.